Okay, on today's Learn to Draw, we're going to be drawing a cat. So go ahead and grab a sort of cat colour. I like blue. I'm going to slam down a little face there like that, and then put in some legs. There you go. And uh, if you want a spider, just stop there. We're going to do a cat though, so let's put in some ears. Yeah, the ears convey a lot of the character of the cat, so you know they want to look sort of like a, like a gremlin. Sort of cats have got gremlin ears. It's important to remember that. Now we just put in uh, his body, um, or his back, more more accurately. Some more legs, I think. And um, you, you want to think about how fat your cat is. That's obviously not right. Um, that's the sort of that's the sort of alley cat look. Um, and there you go. That's a sort of normal cat. You can have a button tail if you like, or maybe something more standard. Just put in like a like a fat loopy tail like that. So I think um, now we're going to um, work on the eyes, uh, very important the eyes, uh, they convey sort of a lot of the character, uh, a lot of the emotion of the, the animal, whatever animal it is. Um, so you're going to want to spend a lot of time on the detail for the, uh, for the eyes. Um, yep. Well that's pretty much perfect uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna want to do the same sort of thing on the other side uh, don't skimp on the detail um, yeah, and eyebrows obviously cat eyebrows are very important they convey you know the temperament um, that most important probably feature of the the cat is the little cute button nose and the uh, and the mouth um, so uh, yeah that, that's pretty good but you want to think about the scale, um, and I want a bigger, I want a bigger nose actually uh, for my cat. So um, we'll just uh, go in there and scale that up. Yeah, that's much better, much better. And um, yeah, let's make his mouth a bit bigger. That's great. And actually, let's make him shout. Let's make him shout a bit. He's he's, uh, he's an angry, he's an angry cat. And if you want your cat. Maybe to look a bit more like Hitler. You just put in, um, put in a little moustache like that. And, uh, there you go. And if you're going to do uh, a Hitler cat, then obviously, really, you need to put in the Hitler haircut. Well, that's um, looking a lot better. Actually, it's starting to convey the uh, the ethos of the Nazi Party. Um, and if you're drawing a cat that looks like Hitler, that's really what you're going to want. Um, so I think now we've got that down. It's probably start. It's probably time to start colouring in the cat. I like to use orange, um, and it's and it's uh, very important at this stage that you don't rush, because um, if you colour over anything you've drawn already, you have to go in and redo all that work. So you want to use very steady hand. Uh, make sure that you just colour in the areas the weather color is needed um, is yep and legs important cats have color on their legs so you're gonna want to do that um, all of these legs have color um, if you look at a cat you can you know you can see that um, and yes that's, that's really coming together now right so now that's done. Um, we're going to add a um, cat mouth, uh, or rather cat tongue. Um, just do the inside of the mouth so it's not like a big white space. Uh, we'll colour that in pink. Uh, fairly standard stuff. Um, and then obviously the inside of the mouth is dark, so we'll do that um, in black. And just redo that tash a little bit. Um, yeah, and that's looking good. So. Now it's time to add some shadow. I like to do my shadow in purple. Um, it, it really helps to convey a sense of realism um, when you add in the shadows. So just think about the direction uh, of the light and uh, therefore where the, where the shade is going to appear. Don't worry about any shadow on the bottom of the body. That doesn't matter. 
Um, and cat shoes, obviously they matter. Uh, and I like to do mine in green. Yeah. And I will just do some clean up work now, just to remove some of those lines. And then it's probably um, time to think about the background. Um, where we're going to put this cat. Yep, Belson Concentration Camp. It's perfect. That's how you draw a cat. 